Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, this is Jersey, and today we are doing the special build collab that I did on the Ginger Empire Island. Okay, so this is the Marvel block, and the challenge from Ginger is I have to work my way by taking the marble off. Just kind of like you're chiseling marble, so that's the idea, that's the concept, and that's the challenge. Okay, so what we're building today is the Freely Church. So if you have watched the Ginger Empire, we all know that we have to say, praise the Freely. That's that's the trademark, that's Ginger Empire. So, okay, so so the, the, the design, I know what I'm gonna make. I know how I'm gonna build it, but I never done it this way. Having to work my way in a whole different way. Instead of working flat level and working my way up, I have to think about this build in a whole different challenge. So it's, it's a fun video to watch. It's a fun way to challenge each other. And I love the idea when Ginger mentioned it to me. So it's, it's not, I don't know if it's gonna be the easiest build to follow in the sense of following. But if you're worried that to, if you wanna do this church as well, and in your island, in your town, I'm gonna do another build video working it from the other way from the ground up so the normal way right and at the same time in, in my original design i do have a few different things that is going to be added to more like a normal style church and this one a lot of the pillars a lot of the ideas what ginger wanted he made some of the final decisions of it especially in the front having the tall pillars that i think for his vision for his island for his town for everything that he's been developing in his world is i think it fits perfectly so it, it was really great okay so to start this build you know it's not the normal process so even me doing the voiceover it's gonna be even another challenge thank you ginger it's gonna be just just even thinking to try to explain what, what was going on in my mind, trying to approach this bill in this specific way. So the best way that I could start this bill, since is the challenge is to work with the cube and slowly destroy the cube and building the church out of the cube. So it's, I, I started with the entrance. So I'm, I'm imagining that I'm digging from the front and working my way in. So let, let, let's start working with that. So. So I've been trying to create an illusion, an illusion of doors, right? Uh, I, I want something that looks like a door so we don't have to keep using uh, just or, or living in a plane or not have anything or just, uh, and sometimes I love to use the, the cobblestone that uh, Rips Gaming discovered, that it, it makes a line and it makes the illusion of a door, but sometimes I can't use that the black because I, I need the back to be white, like in specifically like on this one. So. So I, I kept researching and, and trying different items to see which one will fit perfectly to kind of make an illusion of a door, especially if we hide the bottom part. And that's where this uh, the cabinet came in, the wardrobe cabinet. If you place it on the ground and you either raise one level of dirt or if you want to put stairs right in front of it, it kind of hides the bottom drawers so when you're walking from far away it creates the illusion of doors so the other things that we have to do is kind of hide a little bit of the size so you uh, in here I'm gonna be using columns uh, and we're gonna make a, like a little rail with a little fence and you kind of hide a little bit of those corners so when you're walking by we're creating the illusion of door and and that's the goal I think uh, I think it it looks really good especially when you look at it from far away uh, it was something that uh, this was my first build using that idea and I show Ginger ahead of time he liked the idea so he approved it and and that and that's the great thing you know when 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 I'm going to collab with other creators you know and I'm trying to bring something an idea that they have in their mind is is trying to truly create something that they are really gonna love really they're gonna be enjoying because that's that's part of the excitement that's part of the goal that's part of what makes collabing so much fun it, it's trying to do something that they're either struggling or they don't have a way to approach it but they know what kind of they want and hopefully hopefully at the end 
I can always bring something that they actually truly enjoy. Okay, so we're working our way in, right? So I know now that this block, we need to get rid of part of this side. So we're gonna just chisel this away. We're gonna take all this dirt off because I know where I need to start. So we can slowly start working the side in and start working on that roof, right? So we're gonna have these roofs that are gonna be um, more triangle. In this side of the roof, we're gonna have like two, two sections of it. So, so I knew already needed to take two rows out. These two rows gotta go away because they're not gonna be part of the build. So, and, and that's what I did. So we just chisel away all the way through the cube. And, and it's kind of cool, you know, after watching now the replay and seeing how this is being formed from the cube, Ginger, your idea was really, really fun, really great, and such a good challenge just to try to get this to work and be and being able to do it in, in such a way okay so now we're working again so so um, I took care of the side so now I gotta take keep working my way from the front and going in because now I need to find and break my way to this through the marble and find the areas where the roof are gonna start breaking and where it's gonna start just slanting upward from this point that I'm on so it's it's funny to think in a whole different way I had to think kind of backwards you know I got like okay so if my roof's coming from the middle so that's that should be like uh, three more that way so I have to go this way three and then I have to go down to this specific level because and then I gotta put my ramp from here on and start going up and that thinking it, it was you know I, I, it, it was a little struggling yeah um, it, it was a, a lot of thinking a lot of thinking in a, in kind of in reverse so here's ginger he's he's uh, trying to check the process he's you know making sure that I'm doing everything right the, the right way you know he's always inspecting you know because this you know this is a big request he really wants this to fit that praise the freely vibe the whole the whole reason you know that we we say praise the freely we need to make something very very important here for for the for the empire okay so so as you can see so we we went already one step in and I'm trying to figure out the roofing situation. You know, I, I do have my notes. I know how to build it quicker from the ground up. You know, it, it would have been a little bit quicker build because, you know, I, I do test run these builds. I, I do build them uh, before a little bit beforehand, uh, especially when I'm collaborating with people. I want them to be able to kind of approve some, some of the idea, especially when it's something like this that is very kind of specific in, in many ways. So I, would, I really wanted to make sure. So I, I do have my notes, but my notes are meant to be built from the ground up. No, not the way that I'm making it here. Uh, but it's pretty cool. It's, if you look how we are digging in into the block, into the cube, so the, the, the idea is, is really cool. So these stone pillars, put them up here like this to create more height. That's all Ginger's idea. He, he wanted a little bit more height. He really wanted to make it feel more like a cathedral, like you have all these columns and it's just just that to, that particular look. So so we went ahead and added it and Ginger came, came back because I really wanted to make sure I put him in the places that he really wanted it because in my original design, I don't have these pillars like this up here. So he came, he looked at it and he made sure that the little trial run that we did in my island by putting the pillars, I did put them in the proper place that he really wanted them uh, to see it. So, so yeah, so, so that worked out. So, okay, so now we are um, cleaning more dirt. It's something that working it this way is a whole different way. I have to keep chiseling away, keep putting dirt on the floor, and then I gotta keep cleaning up. So it's, it's really different. It's con truly, truly such a different way to build in this challenge. So if you are challenging yourself and you really want to try to do this and you want to try to do it this way, let me know, truly, let me know if you actually build the block, a humongous block of marble, uh, make the marble block, I think it was around, I think he did it probably close to 16 by 16. If you do it that way and build it up and then work your way through here, I want to see. I want to see if you were able to follow it. I want to see if you were able to do it. But don't feel pressure. Uh, like I said, I am going to make a separate video. I'm going to make another video about uh, this building, this church, 
and it's gonna be also uh I, i'm gonna add something like this into my town and that one is gonna come it's gonna be built from the ground up it's gonna be a little bit different maybe a little tweaks here and there for to fit my style but yeah one is coming it's gonna be fun and you should be able to follow that one also a little bit more easier if that's what you're liking if you like this idea to add something like this into your town into your island so okay so as you can see now i'm i'm breaking away and i'm chiseling away and trying to get this other part of the roof down so it, it, imagine like we have another room it's a, another room inside the building and we got this part of the roof going this way but then we're gonna have some black top inside the church that is going to light it up so we can break a little bit of the white so what when you see the cobblestone the black cobblestone that's another part of the roof and it just kind of to break things up just a little bit so not everything has to be so so completely white since we since we since we can't create windows or anything like that right now and we can't put different type of tiles in different levels to create the illusion so it'd be great if i could maybe would have done most all the roof even close to the edge uh if, if you could somehow color the ramps and be like hey okay it's copying the what's on the bottom but also it'd be cool if we can maybe paint the ramps and be like hey i want to paint the ramp instead of taking the color from the bottom i want to paint it and i want to maybe paint it black paint it red paint it purple you know and then if we were able to paint the ramps then it gives us more more idea and more expansion to create even very uh, very cool looking buildings roofs uh, scenarios because then then we're not depending and then that's something that, that we can break or maybe in the future we get separate separate blocks so imagine that next you know somehow in the future maybe James the developer creates blocks you got a square, you got triangles, you got circles, you got rectangles, and then we can lay them on top of bills, right? And then that, those type of blocks, we can paint them. And then we can make different columns, different roofs, different section pattern, uh, patterns, just because we got all these blocks that we can then coordinate with each other, and then it, it can break some of the elements I don't know it's just idea you know and then if those block we can stack and so imagine like you have this rectangle and you put it down and you color that rectangle let's say black right but then you put that same rectangle again like it lets you stack it and then you can stack it again and then that can be another color then we can even make different type of buildings different type of walls you know it's just the creativity the possibilities that can be done in the game who knows, right? I, I, I don't know the coding. I don't know how easy that stuff is. I know there's a lot of things involved when it comes to the game development and all that, the way the world's already created. So, you know, my job, my job is to work the best that I can with the tools that we have available to keep pushing the game to more limits, keep pushing it, and just throw ideas because you never know. You never know what can happen. But okay, so let's get back to the build because we're still working here. We're still trying to recreate this. Okay, so what happened while I was talking is I realized that I forgot that Ginger put the block already one square higher than what I needed. I, and so I needed to refix this build just to the portion that I was on. And the good thing it was it wasn't hard. It was just a little quick. It, it was mainly just lowering everything one block down. And that's what we're seeing here. It's just lowering one block down so we can create the height that I need. Uh, that way everything just looks more taller. Everything that's supposed to be lower is lower to the ground floor. And that's what we did. And a good thing that I, I kind of caught it early, but even if I caught it to the very last moment, it would have not been such a bad thing. It, I, I would have been able to fix it. It would have not taken that uh, so much time to do it. So, but by lowering everything down, so now we're creating the illusion of more height. Everything is gonna be looking more better. The top part's gonna look taller with the pillars and everything. So the end, because the entry is lower. And, and that's part of the, when, when you're creating this type of builds and buildings and new ways that we're trying to approach the game, it's, it's all about illusion, perspective, height, uh, separation, um, all that combination is what's making us do all these different ideas, these different type of builds and scenarios. So it, it, it is a lot of trial and error, especially if you if you if you try to come up with a new design, a new way to approach the, the game, right? And 
but that's the best that's the best advice that I can give you is sometimes we need to create illusions we need to create that perspective that look so that when you're looking at it from a specific angle it's gonna give you that grandeur that view that you're looking for so for this particular front the front of the building that it needed to feel tall you know because that's part of the illusion it, it just needs to feel like when you're standing from the from the street and you're looking up it needs to feel tall so it was important even if it was one block that one block can make a big difference because then the roof is a little lower the the centerpiece where we got all the four pillars will look taller so it and like i said it's all perspective it's all an in illusion because that's that's what we're trying to do i mean we only we can only go 11 blocks high from the ground up so there's only a max level that we can go so by putting also the pillars we're creating that extra height that we can't do it by just building ourselves but by putting the pillars we're creating that extra height that we need so we have a little more separation from the ground all the way to the top okay so as i'm fixing this as you can see we're fixing it we are we are breaking away the marble. We are still working on our roofs. So now we are gonna continue to slowly chisel away and keep making now the roof. We, we need to now finish this roof right here. That's gonna be to up to this level pretty soon. And then we're gonna start coming down again. So, so we have like kind of different style of roofing at the same time, different type of triangle to just to give it a little more shape, a little more um, difference and a little more something more to view you know as, as you're looking at the structure you're gonna see uh, more divisions and i do feel like having more divisions in buildings uh, depending on the building don't forget if you're building a warehouse you don't need all this fancy roofing right uh you just need something that looks like a warehouse wall just a normal roof and you're good to go depending on what you're building what you're trying to create you know is i, th I think that's the goal is how can we try to make something look in a specific way uh, with with the tools that we have available so so yeah so I'm here I'm thinking because I still need to dig you know and it, and like I said it's so different working this way this challenge it was it, it is a fun challenge it's a very unique challenge uh, and and I'm, I'm glad that I was able to actually try to do this and try to work it because it it, it, it was fun it was fun to work like this it was fun to try to create uh, the building that I already did, but in a whole different way. So, okay, so we're still working on the side of the roof, right? Is now I'm making the same thing that I did on the other side over here. And you see how you gotta think? I gotta, it took me a moment to think, wait, do I need to go lower? Do I need to go higher? No, wait, I need to match the other roof. I need to match that high because now I'm working from the top going down. And, and you're so used to working down up, you know, like you're going from the floor and walking on your way up, you know, because then there's a flow. You can see the flow, you can see the high, you can see where things needs to go. But when you're walking the opposite and you're walking up to way down, it's a lot easier to miscalculate the height, not have the right proportions, not have the right feel to it you could miss one block like what happened to me earlier and i think that the whole combination of thinking different is it is it, fun it is a challenge and you know i originally i told ginger well if i feel like i can't do this i'm gonna just flat flatten everything down and then do it the way that i know how to do it but i, I was able well, once i got to a point like this that now the side of the building was completely done I knew I knew I could do this. I, I felt comfortable. I felt like I knew what I was gonna be doing. Uh, now I just gotta chisel my way through this section here. Work on the middle of the roof. Work. Start working on the back side of the of the building that we're gonna have an, the back side entrance of it. And then it's just duplicating everything that we did on this side that we've been working on. We gotta do it now on the other side. And yeah. And then and then the building is gonna get closer to be done and it, it, it and then it, you can see the shape you can see how everything came out but it is it is cool seeing how this big marble block as we work through it as we chisel our way through it we got this scenario that it just made everything work together and work really really well and i i believe that ginger is 
liked how everything is going, you know. But but by the end of by the end of this build, you know, uh, we did run out of time. I'm gonna come back another day. We need to finish the the sides. There's gonna be something else that's gonna be going next to this building that we, me and Ginger have been talking about. We, right now we're gonna keep it a secret, but it's something that I, I also need to practice and to to make sure that I can get something good down for 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 what he really wants on this side that I think is gonna look really, really good. So so yeah, so there's gonna be a part two for, for this build for this build. Because we didn't finish the building got finished but the whole overall structure of the area that that was not done. So I am gonna collab again with Ginger. We're gonna plan for another day to come back. I'm gonna be here. We're gonna again have a great time talking about a lot of great conversations. Uh, we ended up having such a great time on stream. You know, just talking, having fun, just and just getting to know. You know, we, we talk about different type of games, di different type of designer game, different type of ways to approach, and how those other games were how people were designing in those other games. So those conversations were, were really good. And that's some of the things that I do enjoy when I go collabing, when I go to other uh, creators' world, and it's to talk about designing, creating, you know, is uh, hear the, their point of views and what kind of games that they're, they're, they like to play. Other type of games that are very similar to this or they're not like this because a lot of these streamers, they stream a lot of other games. They play uh, so many other games, you know, I I strictly just do Dinkum content right now, you know, because it's, that's what I enjoy doing. I enjoy designing, coming up with new ideas, you know, just uh, helping, uh, doing island tours, and I enjoy that, you know, and the time that I have available right now to me is I, I put it towards Dinkum, you know, I don't, uh, at this time in, in time, I don't have the time to try to manage two games or manage three games i just don't have that type of time so but i enjoy income so much that is to me it's the perfect game that i enjoy that i can spend my time with the the time that i have available to create content to to develop stuff to practice stuff you know i put it towards income because i do believe income has so much potential it's one of those games that i i do believe that can become one of the greats you know depending on the development depending how far the actual developer wants to take this game i do believe that this game is one of those games that has the potential to continue to grow that that the community is going to continue to grow that it, people are going to keep discovering this game and the more items the more mechanics the more building the more we can do in this game the bigger this game is going to be this is going to be so is i do feel like i'm i'm in a right spot right now you know to keep learning this game to keep pushing the mechanics and then to keep collabing with so many wonderful dinkum creators that are out there you know that that they're just also playing the game showing the game to the community and it's just truly truly it's been one of the amazing times that i've been part of just of this community it's just really wonderful okay so as you can see here now we're chiseling it's pretty cool because we're in the square and you see this part of the square it's still square all right and we're chiseling our way down so the effect the idea that ginger had in his mind is really cool right because look at this look at this it's, it's like if we leave it like this ginger this could be modern art we could have just left it one side like unfinished you know actually would have been cool we didn't think about that but no no it's good it's good we we, we did end up doing the building that you want you know uh but it actually looks very really cool like like it could be something like it wasn't unfinished and this actually gives me even more ideas for the future like like something that wasn't finished that's something that it, it's, it's in the early stages maybe construction maybe something like that maybe as a modern art piece you know the whole idea of the block came out to be before it even became the praise the freely church the idea was to create something like like something modern art related you know and that was my task the more I thought about it, I could not come up with a, an a, a idea to be modern art. I, I I went online, I looked at different ideas. I just didn't have something that I saw that could have been this size that could make it feel modern art. So, but I did want to make something like this. I had an idea of a building to make something like this that I've been thinking of. So I did brought the idea to Ginger 
and Ginger loved it. He, ap he approved the idea and that's how the praise the Freely Church came to be, you know, and, and, and I think that the idea is great, the concept is great, you know, everybody that watches the Ginger's dreams, you know, we all know, praise the Freely. And it's, it's, it's also, it's been catching up. It, uh, it's something that you see in other people's streams. Some people come in to other Dinkum creators and they go, praise the freely. You know, it's, it's something that's catching on, that is really cool. It's something that came from this world, from this island, from Ginger's mind. And it's just been an amazing thing to see in other places, in other Dinkum stream, how people are saying praise the freely so yeah so that's that's how kind of the story came to be you know and that's how amazing sometimes they collapse the ideas scenarios situations you know as you are bouncing ideas developing ideas you know is is that's type that's the work you know sometimes behind the scenes you know it takes time I'm, I'm one of those creators that i need a little time to plan i need a moment you know i can't come up with ideas just right away. Simple ideas, yes, you know, I, I, I can do simple things on the spot because I done so many simple type, type of builds, right? But when it comes to something major, like building a building, a structure, a humongous waterfall, uh, a big layout museum, something special, you know, it's hard for me to come up with those ideas because I need to kinda, kinda just have the concept you know I need to do a little practice around I need to see how the vision that I have could work or could not work you know and and that's my approach you know so is uh, me and ginger talk we I had about two weeks before the collapse so I was um, I had time to think about the idea and then before the string came I, after I had initial concept of what I kind of wanted to build then I did in in about three days you know uh, playing in different times I was able to work on the concept work on the idea and once I did that and I had something good you know this what this, this took me about three different builds three different tries the first build that I did it was horrible it didn't even didn't even had a feel like a like a church type building it just didn't feel like that it just felt like a big block and I was like oh no this is not good you know so I I leveled everything out and then I started working on the second revision just just taking other ideas that, that I had and kind of refining it and the second building the second prototype it actually looked a little better right it, it was a little better but I still was not happy not happy enough to tell ginger hey I got I got something ready I would like you to come to see it so I took that one down then I did my third revision keeping the things that I like fixing some other things that I didn't really like and then I had something that I was like yes this looks good and once I had that I invited ginger Jijin came over and that's how he approved it and just and it just worked out really great okay so now we're in the back of the building we are creating the back entrance. The back entrance is going to be a little more simple compared with the front. I don't need all the fancy stuff. It's just a little back entrance. So again, we're using the, the wardrobe cabinet to create the illusion of doors. And again, we're trying to hide a little bit of the sides right over here. So that's why you see the pillars, just a few more pillars. So as you're walking around, we're, we're trying to hide some a little bit of the illusion. We're going to put some of the fencing on the marble because uh, right now we're using a lot of marble in in gingers in gingers town is uh there's a lot of marble a lot of marble structures so that's part of it and so we we did that simple enough we put some stairs and now we got that part of the building uh completely clear so okay so now it comes to one of the all the other sections the building is getting a lot closer to be completed and now we just need once again we're gonna duplicate everything we did on one side we're gonna do it on the other side so the first thing we need to do is clear the first two lines we know we don't need those they need to go away because they're excessive so we chisel that away and now we're working on the final section the final parts of the roof and slowly and slowly here we are the challenge the gingers challenge for me to build a church out of a block of marble working my way in a whole different way a different concept the challenge was accepted I was really scared I didn't know if I could really do it but here we are we managed to do it we managed to actually overcome working a whole different way it was very exciting 
once I got to that point, halfway point, I knew I was like, okay, I can do this. And then it was a little bit racing against the time. You know, uh, Ginger does have a time limit to, to stream, usually they're around three hours. I had some issues with my internet, so I lost one hour of time that I could actually be working on the stream. But I did manage to get my internet back up, and here we are. So, and my main goal at the end, you know, and it was to act, to try to have at least the building complete. Because I know all the other ideas, as you can see, uh, it's dug down. All that area is part of the what we're going to build around this building. We need to, you know decorate the bill and add the one thing that we me and ginger been talking about we're gonna add that into i believe it's gonna be on the left side because that's where we got the most space and then we need to decorate and we need to make this area feel finished feel complete and and i can't wait i can't wait so we can come up with a date so i can come back but the, the most important part that i really wanted to do during this part of the stream even though i came back late I truly was able to make it and it was to have at least this building completed, the outline, the whole section, you know, because let's say a scenario comes to worst, I, we can't coordinate a day, you know, real life stuff happens, people get busy, scenarios happen, I, at least I know that Ginger can finish, can finish the decoration, he can finish the idea that we've been talking about and that's worst care scenario, but I do want to come back. I'm excited to come back. I'm excited to continue to work on this bill and then to show it to you guys, you know, the process, everything that we added, everything that we keep doing in this, um, in the world, in the world of the empire right here. So, so yeah, so now here we are. This section of the building is completely done. Now everything is working together. So the next, the next thing to do is to add the Freely statues. Very important, you know, because this is the Freely church. So. This is kind of the idea. This is some of the final touches just for the outline. I, I, we knew we were going to add this right here. Uh, we're still thinking of where we do want to add maybe a couple more Philly statues. That's going to come down in the future. I love how the, the birds, they're just landing on top of the church. It just makes it feel even more uh, more cool how they're just landing there. It's, it just it, it makes it a little more realistic in, in my view. But here we are, I add a couple marble benches. So I still had a few more minutes uh, before the stream ended. So I was trying to work really quick because I kind of wanted to just do a little more in the front, just to have the front kind of feel a little more finished. So so Ginger put one sign on the on this side. So I really wanted just to tweak that just one more little thing. And then we're gonna add a bulletin board on the other side. So we have kind of like the sign of the church, a bulletin board. You you see that a lot in, in the in the real world, how some of the churches do have like a bulletin board outside of the churches. So we're gonna add that here on the side. And then we're gonna do a little, uh, plant some flower boxes. And then that was the end of the stream. We got the end of the building. And then at least the outline, the building, this part of the scenario is completely done. And look, the whole block is gone away. It started as a big old gigantic marble square block. We chiseled our way through it. It was a fun challenge. It was a unique way to build, to approach, and to make something exciting, even for this video, to make this video very exciting, very unique, uh, very fun. But here we are, you know, I kind of erased one of the signs right over here. Um, I'm unsure if I want to raise the bulletin board, so we left it at least on the main ground floor. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to add some of the flower boxes just around it, and then that's it. That's all I was able to do in this particular stream, but like I said, the most important part is that we actually got the, the building, the church, the Freely Church done, the outline. To me, that was important, but here it is, guys. This is the final result. I think the building came out good. I'm so happy that Ginger really enjoyed it. And guys, you made it to the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to hit a like, subscribe if you wanna see more videos, and we'll see you next time. All right, guys, see you later. Bye.